What's up, everyone? And thank you for joining us once again on the D Star Zero One channel. It has been a long time since I've actually done a tutorial review, but I've been waiting for this moment for a very long time. Ron, what are we looking at here? What we're looking at is the the Hot Toys uh, Obi Wan Kenobi, based off of the Star Wars Mythos statue. Ooh, and if it's a Hot Toys, we gotta have a Hot Toy review. See what I just did there? Yeah, I see what you did. Oh my goodness. Ron, are you nervous? Um, for everyone out there on the internet, I have never eaten anything spicier than extra salt on something. I... Wow. Well, I am on the other side of that spectrum. I usually put uh, hot sauce on everything. The hottest pepper I've ever eaten was a Carolina Reaper. And I, now I usually eat it daily. Actually, not as daily as before. But yeah, this is kind of... I have not really tried the last dab. Everyone knows the show Hot Ones. And I said, you know what? What a better chance to try out this sauce than to have my good friend Ron here to try it out with me. And let's see how this goes. So this is truly the last dab. We are not even going to warm up. We're just going to go right into this. We're gonna, first, what we're going to do is we're going to get this hot sauce on these wonderful Cane's chicken tenders. Uh, Ron said not to skim if I'm gonna put as much on mine as his, right? Yeah, just let's let's get going, All right, please. Let's just get it going. So I'm just gonna put the last stab on there. Okay. And uh, we're gonna pass the camera to our camera boy here. Oh god. Oh jeez. Oh man. I'm sorry. I am so sorry, Ron. Um, and... Please give me the side that has breading, please. Okay. All right. So there you go. Oh Christ. Um, I think uh, maybe that's not fair. No, you have no, a little bit more right, than me. A little more. You know what? I'm just going to have just a little bit more. Just a little bit. All right. So let's look at those. Mmm, delicious Cane's chicken right there. And we're going to pass the camera to our camera boy. And you're going to see our faces. To show you we're not... We're not messing around here. We're not messing around here. This is going to happen. We got his wife on the sidelines just in case. We got milk on the sidelines just in case. Ron, if you need milk, just ask for it, okay? I can smell right, it already. Ready? Bottoms up, my friend. Ready? <laughs> you ready? Bottoms up. Bottoms up. B bottom, bottoms up. <laughs> bottoms up. Come on. Don't leave me hanging, brother. I'm right here with you in this adventure. You need to toast the chicken. Do not just... Do it. Oh, God. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I can see through time. Your eyes. <laughs> really? Oh shit. Honestly. <laughs> uh oh. Are you ready to do this review? Oh my gosh, your eyes are turning red. Uh. A few inches later. This happened, people. Uh. Can I have a napkin, please? Survive through it, buddy. Come on, man. We so. can do this. Sideshow collectibles. All right, all right, all right. Made a statue a couple years ago. Uh, based on the idea of what Obi Wan did when he first got to Tatooine. <laughs> got some milk here, Ryan, if you want some. Are you sure? No, there was a piece of chicken still, so. All right, all right. okay. And that wet my whistle. <laughs> Take your time. They have all the time in the world. So sure. when I found out this, man, you are red. When the statue was coming out, this this figure was coming out. My face is burning. I'm right here with you, man. Come on. Let's. Woo! Oh, it's burning. It's burning. It's burning. Come, uh, on, come on. I really wanted to get this statue. Right. So my lovely wife decided to get this for me for my birthday, but held off until Christmas. As a wonderful surprise for me. 
Yes, oh wonderful surprise indeed. I remember when Ron showed me pictures of this and I said, no way, this is going to be an action figure. I was really hoping for a 112 scale. <sighs> It really collects, but you know what? This looks amazing. Hopefully, we'll get one in 112. Ron, let's open this guy up. Yes. I'm pretty sure you're ready to just, you know, let's get him open. Let's see what's going on here. Yes. Oh, uh, wow. Look at this presentation. Uh, Even the inner box looks absolutely amazing here. Whew. Fantastic. So, how do I unbox this? So, I just go like this. Wow. This. I don't know. I can't see. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at this, people. Uh. This absolutely gorgeous. Let's look closer at this face. It's not even open. That looks absolutely amazing. From what I can see through the tears. Wow. There. He's got a bag over his head. Let's get him let's get him out of his plastic there. I'm pretty sure this is how you take him apart. Oh. Ron's suffering. We gotta get through this. We can do it, man. I'm we trying, Dex. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove, I'm taking him out of the box. I can see. Oh, wow. I'm trying not to touch my eyes. Okay, don't touch your eyes, man. Uh, don't touch your eyes. Good golly. Uh, Everyone uh, seeing this? Look how beautiful, let's turn off the lights. Everyone on. but me is seeing this. Let's look closer here at this paint and detail. Wonderful shadowing here. This looks, wow, like a 3D print put right on there. And look at this, even the clothes has like this, uh, it's like it's old, and it's like he's been in the desert, as he should be, you know what I mean? And it looks like we got like a faux leather here on the boots, and even that has shading as well on the gloves. Look at these fantastic gloves. Let's look closer in there, and look at that, there's even like dirt and stuff in the gloves. Let's see if we can focus on that guy. Look at that, that looks amazing. God, this if, toy looks so good. If you get a chance, look at his eyes. Okay, we're gonna go look uh, at his eyes really From close the there. pictures on the website, I remember that they even put a sheen on his eyes so you could catch the blue. Whoa, look at that. As I put him at an angle, you could totally see that sheen that Ron is talking about. It looks like you even get some like blush on him too. Perfect shading, perfect hair. We even have some salt and pepper going on here on the side of his hair. Fantastic. Absolutely amazing. This is probably the best looking toy I have seen hit this table. Um, actually, give me one second. Okay, so um, you know what? I kept saying, you know what? I don't have a toy in the scale, but I actually do. And this is, I believe, a Zero One Alistair, King Alistair from uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. And as you can see, they do scale well, but I'm gonna be 100% honest with you, this does a better job with shading, whereas Alistair here looks a little too pale. Um, this is Janelle's toy. So I don't really mess with this, she just, pretty much we reviewed it and that was it. If you guys remember about two to three years ago. So just to show you guys the scale that does work with Zero One Toys, and there you have it. That's it in terms of scale. As my friend is suffering here, let's see I'm how trying. tall he stands. <laughs> oh my god! Give me the. All right, Ron. Let me do something. All right, Ron needs to be useful. He feels. Okay, so from the boots to the top wow. of it's Obi's like head here. It's exactly a foot tall. He's just a little bit more than a foot tall. <sighs> He's. Oh, I lost my mic. He's he's a. He's about a foot tall. That's, if you, that's, that's what you need. That's if you took off his heels, he'd be a foot tall. Maybe yeah, a foot tall. Let's talk about articulation, Ron. Can you handle our articulation? Let's go. Uh, okay. He doesn't have a a toe joint, but we got a. Uh, it feels like a ball joint here at the ankle. Oh. At the knee. Ah. Uh, Single, no, it's a it's a double, double joint at the knee. Double joint. Um, no, uh, no, uh, well, no, that's just the uh, the leather on the pant. There's no swivel at the uh, the calf. Uh, at the hip, we have a uh, a clicky joint, but what's nice about it is it doesn't click. You really? don't hear. So you feel it click, but you don't hear it click. Exactly. I mean, kind of like what a Marvel Legends. You can definitely hear him click, but this is like a more smooth, clicky joint. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. At the waist, we have uh, 
I do not actually feel... Uh, there's a joint there at the waist, but uh, there we go. There's the movement. Very nice. Uh, uh, no ab crunch at the chest. Feels like there's movement, but it might just be from the rubber of the body. Uh, definitely not a... Uh, butterfly joints? Mm, they don't feel like butterfly joints. They feel like ball joints. Uh, oh, bicep sole. Does it have a bicep sole? Um, it's clicky. Oh, no, it's just, it's really stiff, it's so it really squeaks. Stiff, uh, at the bicep, there is a bicep swivel. Very nice. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I'm trying. Uh, uh, single. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> single joint at the elbow. Uh, not a double elbow. Uh, at the wrist, you can roll the sleeve up a little bit. Ooh, very nice. And we've got a healthy ball joint there at the hand. Uh, also clicks into position, but not an audible click. Uh, the neck itself does not move, but we do have one. So we have a single at the top, right? Uh, ball joint, it looks like, at the top of the head there. Plenty of range of motion, even to unnatural proportions. Wow. So we're looking at about maybe around 20 points of articulation, if not a little bit more. This guy's very articulated. Um, yeah. So I guess a question I have for you, Ron, is why did you buy this instead of the statue? Just a quick question. Uh, people have uh, presented awesome statues to me before. Obi-Wan is going to be a flasher right now. Uh, watching my life flash before my eyes. <laughs> I can't feel my mouth. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry, brother. Um... I went with the figure instead of the statue because with statues, while they are beautiful and uh, uh, intricately detailed in paint and whatnot, you can't do anything with it. There goes my mic again. Um, <clears throat> at least with figures, you're able to uh, pose them in ways that uh, you can't do with a statue. Uh, relive iconic scenes, uh, have tea parties. <laughs> You parties. Perhaps eat some spicy hot chicken. Eat unnecessarily hot sauce. <laughs> uh, but that and the figure was around $3,000. <clears throat> while I enjoy collecting, I don't think I can justify $3,000. Jeez. On a statue. Did you say the statue's 3K? 3K. How much was this guy? Uh, oh, God, I don't... <laughs> uh, two, 265 That's not too bad. Wow, yeah. for something of this quality, he looks really good for that price uh, point. He's on the higher end for the Star Wars. <sighs> um, but it's definitely reflected in the quality of the product. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so let's move on to accessories. Um, all right, let's talk so, about accessories. This is all you, <clears> my friend. I'm, I'm going to give it a try. As Obi-Wan is flashing. So two layers, oh, two layers there. worth of things there that we're able to fit into the box. Uh, what we've got here is we've got a fist with a separate ball joint. Oh, oh God. A second fist. This is going to be his right hand again with the ball joint in it, which wow. I, I like that idea of having the joint separate in the hands. And then we have a... Uh, oh, uh, lightsaber hand? Uh, I'm going to say this is a rifle hand. Oh, rifle hand. Rifle hand for him. Tuscan Raider rifle hand. Uh, well, the, we'll get to that in a moment. Okay. Uh, but we got himself. Yeah, uh, wow, uh, that's really cool looking. It, Let's look it's got a that. very nice looking uh, old school pipe rifle with a little bit of future tech looking on there. Unfortunately, the wire itself is static. It is solid. I think I'm just going numb to the fact that I'm burning, so I'm able to uh, participate a little better. So wait, you're telling me that this is just a static wire? Oh, it yeah, is a it's, static it's solid. It's so solid. That's really it's a solid. little odd, but I mean, it's the springy bit on the wire. It is not just a solid piece painted. You can see through it. Uh, it is a piece of uh, curled nice, wire. Actually. I really like um, that. It's not oh, wow, just a colored barrel. It is... A barrel, I mean, how deep it goes. I'm going to reach across, folks. I'm sorry. Look at my arm for a minute. I'm still shaking. <laughs> um, <laughs> but Oh, you got this. Okay. Got this. So it goes in. Like that much. Yeah, so I mean. Okay, that's not too bad. About a 
quarter of an inch so I mean it's not just for show it actually goes in there uh, really nice detail on the uh, the wood the faux wood on the stock there God, I love this stock it, it's <laughs> it looks so cool very it's, authentic looking it's uh, really nice okay um, all right moving on moving on Whew, let's get these bags out of the way on to one of my favorite things of this oh the backpack is Obi-Wan's backpack it's got his bandoliers and various pouches that he may have wore during the Clone Wars. Got himself a bedroll here. These two little bits here, I'll show you in detail more what they're for a little later. But what these are is in the Mythos statue. Hanging from his belt was Anakin's lightsaber and his master Qui-Gon's lightsaber. Oh, man. Um, the neat thing about the backpack is, of course, he's got his old... Clone Wars armor. I love that. In the it pack. It looks so detailed. It oh, looks man. battle-worn. It definitely looks like it's been trudging with him in the desert. Unfortunately, hmm. it is attached to the model, and I don't believe I'd be able to pull it off and put it on Obi if I wanted to. Really? Um, we have our So you can't confirm. Have you tried? I have not tried. Uh, you guys are getting a first look at this thing just like I am. Uh, we've got a... A water who's it's on the side. Uh, we've got two Tusken Raider gaffy sticks. Uh, and we've got ourselves a grappling hook and another looking bedroll on the side. The rope man. is rope. This is rope. Wow. It's not Let me feel that there. a hard Whoa, plastic. That's really nice. uh, all the rope holding the armor on is uh, actual rope. And we have our spot here in the back. Oh, nice. For him to be able to hold the rifle. Hold his rifle. And so that's what we've got in the first portion of it. Wait, there's more? And we've got plenty more because like <laughs> I said, more? like I showed you in a little bit there, there is a second floor of accessories there. Definitely likes to give you your money's worth. I don't want this thing to go flying when I pull this off. I'm getting better here. Yeah, see? It doesn't last too long. Yeah, but it was still terrible. <laughs> uh, what we have in here, the base... It's going to be the stand. Plastic wow, thing will come off. That looks really cool. And it's a neat stand for you to... Oh, wow. It extends and everything. It extend, expands up so you can put it under his armpits, for example, or just under the, the crotch area based on how you're posing. I'll go ahead and put those back. Uh, over here, got a pair of uh, electro rangefinder binoculars there oh. with a, a faux leather strap. I'll go ahead and I just hang that on his neck there so he, he looks more like a tourist. Very nice. Very okay. nice, very nice. Next, we have what I'm going to call our lightsaber hands. They're not quite trigger finger hands, but they're definitely for gripping. Okay, okay. okay. Very cool, very cool. All right, All moving right. on. Now, there's still probably, more. This is probably my favorite part right here, okay. to be honest. Oh, wait, nope, not, not, the, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Okay, he's got himself a pair of, uh, of goggles there, you know, because Sandstorms and Tatooine are terrible on the eyes. We'll go ahead and just uh, put some goggles on him right there just to... Show them off there. Oh, I mean, that looks really nice. They look good, and they're a pretty good fit. They don't look too wonky. They definitely look like they're in scale. Yeah, very nice, very nice. And so now the part that I believe Dexter was waiting for, of course, were the lightsabers. The lightsabers. And so we have Anakin's lightsaber here in uh, wonderful detail. Wow, the shade, it's shaded, it shows war, it's like it's worn. Exactly. It's been through a couple of battles. And that it looks so cool. Even has the iconic D ring that you oh, see on the bottom wow. of it, too, which you could uh, go ahead and hang from his belt if you so were inclined. Oh, that's really cool. So it's, it's a really neat thing. Um, next one in line there is going to be, if I can get it out. It's going to be his master's lightsaber, Qui-Gon's lightsaber. Wow, I did not think that this would come with Qui-Gon's uh, lightsaber. But, you know, That's it's really cool. It's a wonderful piece. It has the, um, I can't think of the clip, cover tech clip on it. Now, unfortunately, Obi-Wan does not have a cover tech. So where is he going to put it? Well, in the case of these two, they're hanging off of his backpack. Okay. So that's where those will end up going. And most importantly here... Is his lightsaber Obi Wan's lightsaber? Yeah. <clears throat> now, as I'm feeling this thing here, I'm going to show this to you folks now. Unfortunately, it appears to be missing a piece. <gasps> uh oh. Now, hmm. if I didn't know any better, I would think that would be the part that has the D ring, so you can hang it from his belt. But unfortunately, it looks like 
QC guys just happen to miss this bit. I mean, I'm looking here in the box and it's not in here. So Yikes. <clears throat> I'll be sending a strongly worded email to them asking for my little part. Now here's something that's interesting. As I'm showing this to you, I'm looking at what's coming up next. Okay. And we have an ignited lightsaber. Question of the day. Can you put that on Anakin's lightsaber? Unfortunately, no. It is It is only made for Obi for Obi's bit there. But okay. if you see, there's the emitter. So this So it's interchangeable. Wow. Okay, that's should, pretty cool. Yeah, pop right off. Now that's pretty neat. That is neat. But as I'm spinning this here, I don't know if you folks can see it. It's a little crooked. A little bit. Just a little bit. A little crooked. Small little Q QC things here. And then right oh, in yeah. there. That's a I pretty that. big imperfection. That's a big imperfection personally. right there. Okay. Okay. All right. So there's those I'm saying that items. if you guys buy, buy one of these, that you will get one, okay? Yeah, there's that, no guarantee you're going to no get, gonna get a crooked lightsaber or a missing yeah. bit. Their right. QC is actually very, this is just very good. what we got, and we're just telling you what we got. And so. then last but not least, as far as the accessories go... According to their uh, website there, this is a, a droid collar. Doesn't oh, look so like cool. a droid collar, any collar that I've ever seen. Yeah. But I'm just going to go ahead and hang that on his hip there for oh, now. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But that covers all of our accessories. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're pretty much just going to take a minute to outfit him. Uh, and... Uh, Apparently Ron has gone off the hot sauce high. No, I'm, I'm good now. I definitely. He's uh, good. He's good. Okay, and uh, we'll outfit him. And uh, you know what? We're gonna put all that in the B roll. Mm -hmm. So totally outfitted. It's gonna be so cool to see him. And then we're gonna put him next to Alistair from Dragon Age. Okay, Ron. Honestly, from my perspective, from just seeing this thing, this thing is so cool. I. Absolutely wow. agree with you on this one. I mean, oh my gosh! The only thing that I would say I had spent more money on was my Voltron figure. Wow! And I absolutely love Voltron, but I feel this one is definitely going to be taking place of I, I have my to say, my favorite. This has got to be one of the coolest figures we've seen on the show so far. Um, so much detail, so much cool stuff you get with him. Uh, 260 bucks is not bad for something of this scale, with this detail and this quality. You pretty much get everything you need with him. Um, I guess you don't get his house, which is unfortunate. Oh, unfortunate. But that's okay. He looks really cool. I say he's worth the money. Um, any negatives I have to say? Now, guys, this is where you guys come and tell me down in the comments. Has QC issues like this happened before to your hot toys? We've actually, you know, held and played with and, you know, did all these. Uh, so we don't know if this is a naturally occurring thing. Uh, I think for the amount of money you pay for it, this shouldn't be a problem. Definitely. Like with that. that kind of price tag, you would want to have a flawless product. Now, right. we understand human beings are involved. Right. And when human beings are involved, mistakes do happen. Yeah, they happen. So, you know, it's understandable. I'm not saying don't buy them because of that. No. This thing is fantastic. Oh my gosh. Ron, any final words before we close? Um, <clears throat> deep breath. <clears throat> uh, I want to say thank you to you for giving us uh, a forum to display uh, uh, this wonderful piece. Yes, very, uh, very thank wonderful. Thank you to my wife for being so kind as to get this for me for my birthday and then subsequently for Christmas. I appreciate it. I love you. And uh, this is by far one of my, my favorite pieces that I happen to own. All right, everyone, this is Dexter. And this is Ron. And we're here for the very first Hot Ones Hot Toys review. And Ron passed with flying colors, oh, I'd have to say. No, this is the last one. I'm, <laughs> I'm not doing this again. <laughs> okay, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, rate comment, and, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.
Hey you! Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Where? Right here, not there, right here. You. And thanks for watching. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. Right here, right there, right here. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Happen, people. <laughs> Let's get going. <laughs> All right.